I really thought we were cooking up something kind of special. <clears throat> we, the, the problem with the plasma deck is... I don't know what I'm doing with it. It is kind of boring. Like the first... Valentine, thank you for the gifted subscriptions, by the way. Thank you. I, uh, the first time I played with it, I was like, oh my god, this is so much fun. And I didn't even realize it was because I had, like, Stuntman and Hiker, so it was, like, the easiest game of all time. But then people, like, I, no disrespect, but you gotta, like, honestly go back to rhetoric school. People will be like, just get chips. What, literally, in that last room, what could we have done to get more chips? Almost all of our jokers were chip jokers. We were getting tarot cards out of our you-know-what, trying to get hierophants and stuff like that. Like, we were chipped up to the freaking gills, man. That's all we could have done. Sometimes it's just, uh, you know... Man decided he's not built for this. I think, like, getting a ch progressive chip joker is good. But just getting, like, flat chips is not that good. But also, I don't control the jokers that I get. Okay, you no longer have smeared joker. So use your noggin. Okay. You basically said... Oh, sorry, I forgot we were on plasma deck. I was like, I'm not getting the 900 points, bro. It's never gonna happen. Little bit of a perspective discard, but alas, it is what it is. It was way better than I thought it was. You are kind of a chip driven Andrew. I can I can attempt to make that work. Now flower pot is just honestly it's just too much work for me, I'll be real with you. And I think straight up Fibonacci is just fun. It doesn't work with 10-4, but it means almost every card I play is going to be good here. How about... I mean, I, I see that we got basically straights. We got Fibonacci's coming out of our whatever, but like... I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pot commit to 10-4 for now. Because we're already here. Very nice. I think this can carry us. Let's get Rocket Pump in here. Let's get some Econ. Negative Joker? Sure. Probably, I mean, there's one rule. You never say no to Negative Joker. And there's only a second rule. You always play 10s and you always play 4s. I mean, this is like, it's Fibonacci, it's 10-4, like, what else can you say? <laughs> you, you gotta give that one its props, man. Oh! <laughs> I actually don't think that's good enough to be sad about. Although it would be nice with Rocket. What is it? It gives too much. Eh, I don't think it's that necessary. I'm not too upset about that, honestly. Delete 10-4. It's not going to happen. 10-4 cared about us when nobody else cared about us. And that's why we put respect on his name. $13 is pretty good. It's pretty, pretty good. Um, I mean, I would love to get driver's license. I feel like it's going to be great late game. It's awesome when you have like a, a theme for your deck and then you buy an Arcana pack and nothing with that theme shows up. Like, yeah, 10-4. Yeah, I'd fucking love to turn something into a 10 or a 4. No big deal. Or I'd, I could just... Bounce and use a fool card. Oh, wait, I've never used the card before. Okay, I guess I'll do like one of the worst plays in the game. No big deal. 
No tens and no fours, huh? Okay, well, yeah, no, it's no big deal. It's no big deal. I'll tell you what, a three is a Fibonacci card that with the strength could become a walkie-talkie card. So there you go. I'm just going to play my shit out. I mean, there's, there's Fibonacci potential here. There's still Fibonacci potential. Uh, did, did I accidentally delete all the 10s and 4s from my deck? Like, it, it, is that what is happening here? And I'm... If so, I blame myself, but... Oh, there's one. Spectrally. If we onk rocket, just give me a second here. <laughs> just give me a second here. Because it's, it's, it looks bad, but it's foil, bro. So we get a hundred chips off of that, Andrew. Plus the amount of econ we get from it could get could go insane. But we may also die immediately. But if we don't die, this could be could be the greatest play you ever see. Let's just be honest. If it wasn't foil, I don't think we could do it. But because it's foil, I think it's it's possible. And I'm like, I don't need to worry about tens and fours anymore. I can play whatever I choose. It'd be nice if this paid out, though. We're actually going to live. And you all laughed at me. <laughs> Why not skip for the negative? Gamers don't even like playing games anymore. They just like skipping blinds and getting negatives. It's so sad. No, playing the game, bro, bro, bro. Playing the game is bad EV. I just look at the um, the spoilers and then put in pre-orders for singles that I think are going to pop. Then I sell them back and uh, once a month, that's a free lunch at Chipotle for me. Yeah, I consider myself a bit of a gamer. I think we make these. I'm, I'm going full nuts on the table. I'm going full, my hands are shit, so give me shit hands. <clears throat> and then we play flushes. This is the way. Plus 20 molt, please. Pair of sevens, please. One accretive joker, and we're actually, like, never going to be stopped. Square joker. We joker. Hiker. Stuntman is not a, a cumulative joker, but we'd still be off to the freaking races. We have $29. Oh, nun jokers. Okay, nun jokers is an interesting idea. I hadn't considered the possibility of nun jokers. Let me get let me get Uranus and Mercury, honestly. The planets are going nuts. Gustav Holst to be like. Skip me. Spades are debuffed. No no no. We play these. It's working. <laughs> it's working. Yo, my love! You have returned! Okay, let's think about this. 
Okay, first off, High Priestess. Two more planets, Pluto and Uranus. Both seem good. I guess we are playing flushes time to time, but... So the Spade Joker is very useful. We have to acknowledge that our boss blind is... Spades are debuffed. But I think we still... Because we're in anti-down, I think we still easily get there. We can carry them both for now. Hey, NL. Can I give you advice without you getting mad? Hey, Glitzpeed. Can I deny your request for advice without you getting mad? That's only four. That's four with two spades attached to it. With three spades attached to it. Wow. He said, sure. All right. Based. Stop. <laughs> Stop asking if I have any interest in advertising for a Canadian weed company. That is a callback. That's from back in the day. Three weeks ago. <clears throat> what, an about, what about an American weed company? I'd think about it. Just kidding. I'd like to visit your country again at some point. We should destroy uh, maybe diamonds. That, there's some sense to that. We should luckify spades. Dip them in Mama Liz's lucky oil. Bonus chips on spades. Now we're cooking something up. Double my money? Yes. Yes, I will. Am I crazy to think like this is just good enough? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're crazy for that one. It's okay. But you're kind of crazy for it. I really don't want to get rid of the queen, but... Pairs level five. One second, I lost the plot a little bit. Three of a kind is pretty good. I see we got six, seven, eight, nine, obviously. I hate to dump the gold card, but realistically, we got so much money coming in. Don't even worry about it. I have $76. I have a hundred dollars. Forty chips for each remaining discard. Sure. It's a little chip heavy. These could give us tarot cards. Thanks for nothing. Lucky spade. Adding more spades would be fine. They gotta be good spades. I don't think that's good enough. I, I really put zero respect on a uh, on a blue seal. Hello, Malph. Malph, I you make the plasma deck look so easy, man. We must go square Joker, and now we've got our our cumulative growth. We can play two pair, increment square joker. We got foil Andy. Every, everything's looking pretty nice here. We're making $1,000 per round. 
tarot cards may actually appear in the shop. Please give me another tarot. Did, you've been the fucking worst hallucination of all time. At least uh, the fucking... Well, I was going to spoil the witch for you. But I'm just saying, at least the devil's well-dressed, okay? Me to the hat man when I take Benadryl. So true, I think. I think. I guess I'll just double my money. I do have to say, by the way, you are actually fucking ass. Get out of my life. I, I just, I can't stand you anymore. You're gone. You don't do anything. It's, you're a lie. Your existence is a lie. I do have to say, I stopped uh, taking anything with Benadryl in it. Because there was a possible link between types of anti-cholinergic cholineric <laughs> you fucking look it up drugs and uh like an increase in dementia in older adults and then i uh looked it up online and then it seems like the establishment is trying to tell me that i've got taken in by some kind of psyop well i don't like being told that i was wrong so now i'm never gonna change my beliefs okay You just convince me that I must be onto something. Otherwise, why would the Globe and Mail be trying to tell me, oh, buy your Benadryl, buy your, buy your Dayquil, buy your Nyquil. They really think we're all still asleep, huh? So I've mostly been getting my cold medicine down at like the farm supply company, the co-op, the 4-H and stuff like that. What am I doing here? Play four cards. Don't play a full house. Bro's drinking potions. <laughs> I don't want to... We don't have to get into the, the, the potions, man. Or the, or the farmer's market or anything like that. It's... I don't know what's going on. I'm not the type of guy... In the modern day era of the internet, it's hard... Wow! <laughs> I don't even think it's that good, but it looks fucking sick. It's, uh, it's hard to separate the meme from the mania, right? With this Kate Middleton stuff. So I go to the most trusted source of information on the planet. I go to Reddit, reddit.com slash r slash royal family. Hoping to get like some kind of mega thread that's like, here's what's going on with Kate Middleton. We're going to separate the wheat from the chaff and the misinformation. And then r slash royal family is acting like fucking nothing's going on at all they got their head in the sand they're like is there a reason why the duchess of kent maybury didn't attend the funeral of earl dickens of charcuterie back in 1901 and then there's like i'm like bro nobody fucking cares <laughs> Can you? I need I need an adult in the room to tell me what's going on with this Kate Middleton stuff. Otherwise, it's all TikTok influencers that are like, she seems fine on first glance, but I did a little digging in my fucking own mental illness, and I've decided that she's been replaced by a fucking body double. She looks too much like herself to be her. It's fine. It just looks, it looks too good not to get. Gonna buy me a Mercury and cruise it up and down the road. Also, this is not fair. Um, and I'm sure that he's doing okay, you know? But I feel like people are going 
hard in the fucking paint on Prince William. And like, I'm just putting my, I don't know what's going on, but imagine like his wife is like, I want a divorce. And he's like, okay, but we're in the public eye. We got to chill for like a little bit. Maybe we'll just take like a, a leave of absence from media. And then like, because of the fucking weird way that it's been handled, every time I open up Twitter, it's like, imagine aging like this. Imagine being such a fucking husk of a human being that you're fucking, even your own hair decides it doesn't even want to be around you. And I'm like, damn, I don't know if he's a good guy or a bad guy, but at the same time, like, can you just go easy on him? He's, <laughs> he might not have done anything, man. He's weird. His wife said he, she's gonna get bangs or something like that, and then the fringe doesn't look good. She's gotta grow it out. All of a sudden, 10,000 unemployed people on Twitter are fucking sicking their teeth in them. It's crazy, man. He's also unemployed? Bro, is, he's making social appearances, okay? <laughs> so you're defending the monarch? No, I'm defending the monarchy. The monarch, I don't know shit about Prince Charles. Prince William's supposed to be my boy. We kind of grew up together. He doesn't really know me, but he was like, you know, I, his poster was on the damn wall of all my female friends growing up. You see that Colin Farrell interview? Where he just kisses the interviewer. <laughs> Canada's wild. I, I'm, I feel like maybe... Malf, can you back me up here? I saw the tweet on Twitter, by the way, that said this. But I, I think there's some truth to it. One of the hardest things to explain to Gen Z is that Prince William used to be the hottest guy on the planet. Like, from 19... 98 maybe until like 2010 he was probably like the number one like people's sexiest man like when i was in the fourth grade every girl in my class had a crush on leonardo dicaprio prince william and jonathan taylor thomas now nah, he was not i was fucking there bitch people were going crazy for him david beckham Soccer didn't exist in Canada until the 2002 World Cup. Next question. My era was all K-pop dudes. It's not your fucking era. What is that, like three years ago? That's fucking now, bro. <laughs> My era. You're living in it, dude. the hell are you talking about? Silence. I sell you. What was I playing? I'm playing pears. Pears, preferably with Mama Liz's spade sauce. What's two pear? Roughly the same level. Ah, but then we don't lose, we don't use the discard. Okay, I see. Well, you know what? Why not send this one out here then? Ass. Fucking ass. Okay, um, we need to discard. That's insanely, I don't think I could ask for a better setup than we just got. So if we're cooked on this, oh my god, and it triggered the 20 bucks too. Oh my god! <laughs> oh man. Ramen's not doing enough? Well, let me see. So, with, oh, you're right. Ramen is going to be... It's going to multiply 7 by 2 and then by 1.5. So, it's basically... It's turning 7 into 21. But then when it gets split... 
That's is am I insane to think that's only adding a hundred and ten score? Or is that not the way that you can actually think about it? It's more than that, but it sucks. I think I made a mistake. I think I think we cannot abide by this. Dead ass. I, don't, I, I guess I would add you. Fifty chips is no joke, but I'm not adding anything else. You had to take it because it looked hard. Well, that's that's damn true. I can't argue with that. Oh, that's true. Stones would go crazy. My mistake. I'm so used to never taking them or only taking them. I mean, Empress would give us Molt, which would make Ramen better, in theory. But maybe I don't give a shit. Maybe I don't care. Hi, Tomo. Still don't have, like, a flat Molt. I may never have a flat Molt. Only play 10s and 4s, bro? Who's gonna tell him? Who's gonna tell him? Roll again. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. 64,000 points. This is no problem. Hi! The Tomo and the Meower arrive calmly from their escalator with a sense of purpose. Deadass, I don't actually care about you being steel. It's time for you to contribute something to the rest of the class. Take action regarding that individual! Relax, I'll handle it. <clears throat> spades. We like spades. We like spades. We don't... But we like two pair as well. It's the tricky part. Stop scratching me. I gotta think, man! <laughs> I gotta think. Clubs and you are gone. Another hanged man. What am I looking at deck-wise? We're low on kings, tens, and fours and twos. Alright, that doesn't help us at all. Uh, what if I converted your ass to another one of these guys. Sounds okay to me. Ain't no way this stream isn't pre-recorded. Just think to yourself for a second, and I know that's a foreign concept. What benefit do I have pre-recording a stream when it's going to take me five hours one way or the other? I might as well do it here so I can make fun of people live in the chat. Instead of having to make some shit up all the time. Hey, did you guys see the new episode of Shogun last night? We already did that. Yeah, you missed, you missed your window. Show today's newspaper. I can't remember, when was the last time you bought a newspaper? I imagine for many people, the answer is literally never. Many people in our chat, at least. I used to, um, I guess, I'm, actually, now that I think about it, I think it's possible that I have also never bought a newspaper. But from 2007 to 2015, if I got lunch at a restaurant and they had newspapers at the front and I was eating by myself, 
I would take a, a section of the newspaper and read it while I was eating my lunch. I actually feel like there's kind of like, um, there's something nice about it. Like it makes you feel like you're part of society. When you get a sandwich at like a diner or something like that, and you're sitting next to a dude who's reading the newspaper and you're reading the newspaper, you like, you feel like a bee in the beehive, bro. He's making a different kind of honey. You're making a different kind of honey. Hopefully you don't have the same queen. I don't really know how bee society works, but... You, you could talk to them. You don't have to talk to them. It's just, just being around them was enough. I was LARPing, though. Sometimes I would read the business section of the newspaper, and I would, like, read the movement of the stocks. I didn't even own any stocks. I don't really know what I was doing. I guess I was hoping somebody would walk in and be like, whoa, look at this little kid reading the business section of the Globe and Mail. <laughs> well, I gotta hire him. We've all been there. Yeah, 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 we've all been there. You're not wrong. Hack would go crazy the more spades we could make. Am I really... I guess I'm willing to get rid of a rocket. We only need to have it trigger once on a spade in order to equal the amount of chips that we're losing. It's so bad. Actually, it's so much fun, which is what games are made for, so... Try to keep up. Why not? Now watch this. There's some work involved in this, okay? You are going to be raised a level. Maybe we discard first. No disrespect intended, Ramen. Fuck you. Strength me, strength me. world me two pair of spades with hacks there's something to that oh there's something to that The chips are soaring. They are playing at their residence. Get some red seals on those fives. No disrespect, but is there any criticism in Balotrol? And I mean no disrespect. I understand. It's just, we're just talking here. Is there any criticism in Balotrol less helpful than just get X, where X is like literally a one in a hundred chance rolling an enormous dice. <laughs> That's what I need. How am I going to get a red seal on that fucker, okay? First, I need to get a spectral pack, which the, one shows up like one every ten shops or something like that. Then, Deja Vu has to actually show up on top of that, and then there has to be a five actually in the hand that gets drawn with that. That's not it. That's... Okay, oh, you're manifesting. Okay, you're manifesting. I understand. The manifesting I get. Put some lipstick on those lips. Now, what are you talking about? You're making me self-conscious. My shit's all chapped up because uh, the virus tried to steal all the water from my body en route to killing me. But it failed. It did. As it often does. We don't give a shit about ramen. We don't give a shit about ramen. It's doing so little for us and demanding so much of us. Now this... No, no, no. We should save it. You should save it, brother, and use it on a low card. Dump them. Okay, now I'm actually scared. Because I have to play two pair. 
<laughs> Otherwise, because you can only play one hand type this round. You know what I'm saying? No, you'll lose luck on that. Yeah, you don't want to do that. You you won't lose foil on this though. That's the that's the ticket right there. <laughs> that's bad. Two twos, one four, four fives, two nines, two jacks, one queen. I will never forget this. I'll never forget it. I'll never forget it, please. I can't watch this, it's gonna end me. Honestly, if this is what does it for you. Remember what Los Campesinos said on uh, there are listed buildings? If this changed your life, did you have one before? Great granddad fucking hopping on a steamship to get sent to some place in Europe he can't even pronounce. Dude's riding over trench walls on horsebacks and stuff like that, artillery shells landing two inches away from his ears. Comes back, what, what's his reward? Go to work at the fucking Black Lung Factory, Pops. What does he take to lunch every day? Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. 1921 till 1963. His great-grandson. I don't know if I can watch this, it might be too much for me. What was it, a documentary on the horrors that you're ancestor went through saving the world ah, that guy was winning but not as optimally as he possibly could at a fucking digital toy <laughs> see two of two can be dramatic okay let's just all let's simmer on the needlessly theatrical language brother we're all in this together Go to roll once more. Oh, yes, I would. Uh, it would have been better if it was chips, but we take those. We got to get rid of ramen, dude. This is too much. Queen, Queen, Jack, Jack. <clears throat> Don't need it. Need it? Would like to have it. Oh, thank you so much. You shouldn't have. I'm going to turn you into a stone card. Huge. I think this can make it, but it's I I do think it's going to be close. Listen, we need this. We need to do something with ramen. The question is, is it really worth... It probably is worth dumping ramen for 50 chips, even if we don't get any value from mime. It's a little late for you. I appreciate you, but it's a little late for you. It did look cool. I Well, you know what? I didn't get rid of it. I sold it. 
So that all, all money me now. And as good as stone cards are, I think I would love to let's just do this, man. Or should we, do we have better cards? Not really. We don't have like any truly standout cards. So you can do this shit. Venus and Mars. More like penis and bars. <laughs> oh man, I don't know. Something about it. I'm waiting. I and it, you're gonna get in a lot of trouble um, from mostly people my age when this happens. But I'm telling you, I have the recipe for a guaranteed banger on Twitter. If Eminem comes out with like a new rap music video in the next six months all you need to do is quote tweet the announcement and say this 97 year old rapper still makes rap the old-fashioned way and just watch the fireworks man i've been waiting i don't know what he's doing maybe he's not releasing that many raps anymore but i'm telling you it would go and people's feelings would be mighty hurts he's not 97 he's actually 51 and that's why it would be funny. Oh, here we fucking go. Here we fucking go, everyone. Just go some more feedback on the Hyundai Ionic incoming. Turn that shit off. It's funny, though. It is funny. There's no denying that. Bro, what are we doing here? I guess, I guess I'd juice you up. I would like to use this on a freaking, uh, a 2345 type card. No! Yes. How about you become a freaking you? And you become freaking you. Is this the most you have used Gchat in the last few years? I have a, my, I don't wanna brag. I was kind of like, I invented uh, group chats, I would say. I worked an office job in between my second year and third year of university, and uh, I was like, I'm a little bored. All of my other friends worked office jobs as well, so I just started a, an email thread where I CC'd them, and we would email each other throughout the day. Be like, well, you won't believe what we won't, and then the boss said. Mur, 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 mur. And then that was seven, 16 years ago now. So we, at some point, we, it was a Gmail thread. The Gmail thread got spun out to Google Talk or whatever. And they're like, we're killing it, but we're bringing in Google communities. It became like a Google community that then got rolled into Gchat, into Google fucking Meet, into Google Duo, into like, it's gone through like 97 different like brandings in the in the group chat is still here can you please mute it though but one second i gotta see what they're talking about let's take a look bro just messaging so he gets a boop that's malf malf said that before that though the organic message before the the ones just designed to create boops Y'all long or short on this Reddit IPO, LOLOL. That's right, we do some low lolling. We are millennials, we come by it honestly. All right, I'm closing that tab for now. <laughs> what was going on with my mouse? A little scary there for a second. Dump him. 
Bro's not on the itch bowl train. You have to realize that I'm a millennial. I have millennial tendencies. Um, but also, I am like online, which means I'm mostly surrounded by Zoomers. I'm sorry, I got some caked on garbage on my mouse. Get what the heck is that? Um, so I stay somewhat contemporary as a result. Not like, I'm not saying I'm one of the Gen Zs. I'm just saying that I, I'm more familiar with the parlance. Most of the people in this group chat are millennials who were born like the same year I am, but they work in an office where they're actually like the third youngest person. So they're like, they would say, what the fuck do you mean, Ijbol? Like they're, they're normal people. <laughs> they want to do whatever common people do, man. You got to have mercy on them. Hey, NL, can you use a different deck, please? Kind regards, Faint Bunny. Didn't I, didn't I time you out? Has it been 600 seconds already? Holy cow, hello, Tomo. What'd you get timed out for the first time? Yes, you did. Okay, hang on, let me take a look. What was it the first time? <clears throat> sorry, sorry, sorry. NL, if you want to win, please change to an easier stake. Change to an easier stake. Hey, NL, I don't want to be mean. Change to an easier stake. Holy, you wrote it like eight times? I'm doing it again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you didn't learn. You got so here's the, the and again I I'm not tilted I'm just you got to put yourself in the mindset of the psychology here of, of me reading this as the person that's the subject of these messages. First message today was love the streams. The next like eight messages were like please don't play green steak it's too hard for you which is just insulting. It's fine it's not a big deal. It's not like you told me to die you just called me stupid. So you got timed out for that. Your next like three messages were like, I want to apologize for my earlier messages. Like I shouldn't have written that. And then your next message was like, you went right back to it. That's crazy. You, you basically because you lied to me, you said you were reformed, but actually you were still, you know, feeling the impetus that led you to write those messages in the first place. Green steak, baby, yeah! Steak, baby. Hmm. They really want the attention and they're getting it? Yeah, but you're coming from like an antiquated era of the internet. You know, if people really want attention, they're like, well, you're giving them the attention they wanted. Well, if they still want it, after everybody's like laughing at their expense, then... I guess we're just gonna have to live with that. Maybe that maybe it's a fucked up version of like a win-win. We're getting a little bit of entertainment. They're getting whatever fulfillment they were looking for. It's a strange way to look at life, but it is kind of what. Well, it's kind of crazy to me not to judge anybody's lifestyle. Oh, everything's already freaking freaking sorted up. It's kind of crazy to me that people eat a timeout. Like they stay in the chat after they get timed out. Cause like my ass ever gets timed out, th th that tab is closed immediately. My ass is like leaving to do something else. Do I look within myself to see if I'm really the problem? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. But there's no shot I'm letting the streamer win by just sitting there in time out. Like, I've got some kind of power in this situation. I'm, I'm going to exercise it. If you're tanking that at, like at full power, like that's, that's a different story altogether. <laughs> I don't know if this is good enough, man, but we, we got hands.
Are you getting timed out regularly in other chats? No, it happened in Dan's once, though. But I was willfully antagonizing him, for sure. That, that's like... Did you deserve it? Probably. Maybe I crossed the line and was hoping my streamer slash friend privilege was going to save me. It's all part of our rock and roll fantasy, you know? One random d joker disabled every hand. It, you don't do anything anyway, so, like, don't let me stop you. Holy, we're gonna win. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, well, well. I am getting drunk with power. Because I'm like, oh, green steak's too hard for me, is it? Well, maybe. Hmm. As a result of being incorrect. Maybe the timeout should be escalated to a permanent ban. <laughs> hmm. Perchance? Hmm. Mayhaps. Because not only did your comment question my intelligence, but you were incorrect. It is you who has been exposed to have the diminutive academic rigor. Not I, as you so falsely harangued me for. Honestly, though, this run is like, it's cooked. You you have to try endless mode. It's just the way that it is. But I don't think we have a future. Oh, plus one Joker slot kind of sick, though. Black hole, kind of amazing. Level freaking 13 pair. Kind of something. What are we going to do? It is a, it's a good question. That's pretty nice. 400,000 points. 400,000 points. Of storage. You know what? What about this? Things you don't love to see. What brand of refrigerator do you have? I'm not going to answer that question. Because your question has revealed another question, which is why do you care? It's a scary question. What color is the fridge? I don't want to tell you that either because it's going to lead to some accusations about my net worth. What if I told you that it blends in with the fucking wall. <laughs> Would you get mad at me? <laughs> oh, man. No! They're so mad! I was gonna say that my mini fridge doesn't blend in with the wall, but this shit blends in with the fucking cabinets. They made sure there was a nice through line. It's not me. I got fucking cans of Coca-Cola Zero Spiced on my desk. You have a mini fridge? Okay, that one though, you like you can't be mad about that one. I'm telling you that you should have nice things. You should have treats. 
A mini fridge is something that you could reasonably get to improve your quality of life and be like, I deserve this. That's an expensive treat? Bro, a mini fridge is like fucking, you can get one for like 80 bucks. Sorry, I've just always assumed they were expensive. And you would get mad at me based on the assumption? Have you been following the DoorDash discourse on Twitter? <laughs> Dude, Twitter's finally catching up to um, streaming culture circa like 2017. Somebody had the misfortune of tweeting, every day in my neighborhood I see people getting like one bagel and a DoorDash, uh, a coffee DoorDashed. Do they have any idea like how expensive that is versus just buying it themselves? And then, uh, hey, not Brad Linton, by the way. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and people really, really got on their ass that were like, actually, sometimes it feels good to pay $50 for $17 worth of McDonald's. There's also, and like, I'm, I feel like it's, I'm not trying to get sucked into a false level of the culture war. Almost everybody and everybody that at least has been outside in their lives knows that the food delivery is way more expensive than going to the grocery store. Why are there always like a hundred motherfuckers in the comments that are like, it's actually more expensive to go to the grocery store? Like the dude in the comments who was like, actually I drive a Ford F-350, so if I drove to the grocery store for every single meal, like it would cost me as much as DoorDash, so I just get DoorDash, and you're like, you don't, Fucking buy one meal from the grocery store, you dumb motherfucker. You could, you could, or you just get it all fucking Instacarted to your house in one big go, and then you. I'm not saying we never order delivery. I'm just saying, like, the, the people who they jump through the hoops to be like, you don't understand why specifically for me, DoorDash is actually better. And I'm like, you, that is crazy. Can't you just be like, I like food that tastes yummy? Like, don't lie to yourself. You can, you can DoorDash some, some yummy food. You trying to change the argument so that it actually becomes like the... It's actually the smart decision to buy DoorDash. That's crazy to me. And then there were other people that were like, yeah, the problem is that you pay for so much. I mean, I love this card if we could just change its color. You pay so much if you just get a small order. So what I do when I order DoorDash is I order like a week's worth of dinners on DoorDash and then I just keep them in the fridge and warm them up. That way I like, I save money on like the Dasher portion and the tip and I'm like now you're just that's just the grocery store but like four times as expensive <laughs> and the shit is not gonna taste good like what are I'm not actually I'm not coming at you like you fucking suck you gotta like you shouldn't be in society but I'm like you gotta sort this shit out this you have tricked yourself into thinking that like this is the way and it's it is not the way man But then, like, and I, I say this not to defend the prodigious DoorDashers, but then the only group of people online in this discourse that are more annoying are the people that are like, yeah, all food is too expensive these days. So what I did is I moved out of the city and I bought my own 100 acre farm and I raised my own cattle and chickens. And I'm like, well, you're even more annoying than the fucking DoorDashers. Cause this shit, the goalposts have moved like my entire life. When I was a kid, people were like, yeah, I go off to restaurants, but I don't order drinks. 
And then like 10 years later, they were like, well, I go out to restaurants, but like, I don't get like appetizers and I split the meal in half and take like half the meal home so I can have it for leftovers. Then it was like, I don't go out to restaurants. Now people are like, I don't even go to the grocery stores. You realize that that means society is falling apart, right? Like life is actually getting worse for you than it is it was for like your parents. Like back, back in the 90s, people were taking their family out for dinner and they would be like, sure, you can order some ice cream for dessert. And nowadays it's like, we have a fucking two dairy cows at home. Like, what are you t talking about, little house on the prairie ass? Don't you own 312 self-storage facilities? I thought you were supposed to be balling. All right, still a pretty good run though. Still a pretty good run. Okay, slash marker. Balotro. 